Now, if we look at these four numbers over here, all these four numbers here are written in standard form. But what if, if you have to compare which one of them is the largest and which one of them is the smallest? Now, some of you might have the ability to identify them with a, with a, with a glance. But for those of you who can't, I will strongly suggest you to expand out the standard form and you can arrange them according to the place value and then compare the number individually. Okay, that will be the more safer way uh, and it will be a way that can prevent any form of careless mistake. So let's try. Let's look at W, right? I have W over here and I have 9.81. I am going to make my standard form into my decimal, I will expand it. So the power of negative 5 here means I will go backwards 5 steps. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is where my decimal point will end up. All the empty pockets I will replace with my zeros. Okay. Now let me just get rid of this. Now I will do the same for the other alphabet as well. Huh? So for my x, right, when I expand it, so this is 2.8 and power of negative 4 means I will go backwards, 4 step. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I will put zeros on the empty pockets. Right, I will continue with the third one. Right, this is 9.091. Okay, power of negative 5 means I will go backwards 5 steps. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the last one, Z. Okay, this one is 4. And it's power of negative 4. So I will be going back okay, to the left side for 4 steps. So over here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, after you are done with that, you can actually compare each number based on their place value. With that, you will be able to identify which number is the biggest or smallest. So what I would like to do, all right, if you notice with all these empty pockets, or empty spaces, what I would like to do is I will add zero to match up all the place value so I can compare each number individually, okay? So over here, like all the zeros here will not be significant. So I will draw a line over here. So I can see all the significant numbers over here. So right. So based on this, we can compare the number based on their place value. So as a conclusion, Z over here, it's the biggest. And Y over here, it's the smallest. All right, can compare it directly to the place value and then you should be able to identify them.